25 to 100% cleave or 40 to 100% splash. Nice to see that we are known as toxic people. You fucking cunt, I hope your mother gets cancer, but then it turns out she's fine, so you worry for nothing. Leap of faith. Um, They nerfed it though. Three. You can't kill anyone with black anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow. Come on. Nice. Nice. Draw Ranger fan art. She kind of hot. Nice. Meh. Stun, 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 stun. There are none who cannot be mimicked. Storm on your team or storm, she tells you not to worry about. One of my favorites. Ludo1G just subscribed. What the fuck? Was he fully healed? He was fully healed. Okay, kill. Five head roll turns the game. He's called Kakwa for a reason. Man allowed. Literally unplayable. Rasta, they would beg his up. Faye, mother of Chad and Eden and Kane SC. Gazebin. I see a pattern here. Is this really what we come down to? You win one. Win two, three, four, five. nice. That's an interesting pose. I added some visual effects of talent, shard, and scepter upgrades. Lion's eggs. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, Mars Spear BKB interaction. Normally you cannot BKB after you get hit by a spear. However, till uh, today I learned that if Mars hits you with a God's Rebuke, his W, while you're hit by a spear, you will be able to get your BKB off. Mm -hmm. They have to have it when you're playing up against the Weaver, so they'll get rid of Bloody Nine. Don't have to worry about that Fiends, but would have been very handy here. God, he's you up. are as fighting. I mean, he stops the stun. Like, he's just flying in the air. So there's nothing weird about this interaction. Maybe I'm just too smart. Bodeg Ben, I thought if you stunned him, like locked him down, then used it. They have to have it when you're playing up against the Weaver. Uh, Necropassive Prison BKB now? Yep, don't care. Uh, what in the hot semi holy crap is this? Twitch message on the Dota 2 DPC side. TB rocking so many buffs in Deep of Icon, it's like World of Warcraft. I love World of Warcraft. So Morph can now steal all these. What?
Um, yep, we saw it. It's interesting. It's a long time. I finally reached top one. Okay. Missed turbo issues. Short time should be reduced to be compared to 50 minutes, maybe 7.30. Now, new 30 second cell time abuse. Can easily be abused in turbo. Buy boots for smoke or towards enemy at max. Early game moon speed, plant ward, sell boots at the river. To sell globe in and buy items at the river. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, Monka H, Pepe H. What are you after getting his team wiped out with a 10k lead? Nonsensical comments in chat. <laughs> Base Chris with the wife yokes. Uh, let's do a vote. Who is based and who's the beta cuck? Let's see what chat thinks. Is Chris the based or beta cuck? Or is Will the beta cuck or the based? Get your votes out. Who do you think is based? Who do you think is beta cuck? Arch full slot giga chat. <laughs> nice. Uh, the correct answer, of course, is that Will Smith is a beta cuck. It kind of goes without saying. Only a beta cuck would think Will Smith was based. It's clearly Chris assuming dominance. It was actually painful to watch. It was so fucking cringe. I couldn't. Pog? Wow. God gamer, but I can't. Oh, Alan Ring stream. Expectation. Views mage build. Gonna cry, chat? I guess the guy Will Smith's wife cheated Do Will leap attack and one shot boss, but there's power. on this power. Reality. No, I've been playing for a week on the same boss. Why it's so hard? It's just a show chat. I can beat it on stream first try. This is Giga Chat abusing? <clears throat> the Bible clearly states, Thou shalt not abuse. Also, to find out the abuse mage build and abuse what your dual wheel leap attack one shot boss build, to find out about these builds, you have to Google. You have to Google these builds and look up guides. Me? I don't do that. I stay away from it. I don't abuse games. I'm a light to now. Um, new reaction for the god I poker. We need a new show. I think we found one. We're going to try it today. No, definitely not. Definitely not. It's all real. Tell me propaganda at all. Monka laugh. Thing is, when they hire these Very sloppy, useful idiots. Like this guy in particular. He makes too many mistakes. And he starts to show what's actually happening behind the curtain. We could see the minders, we could see the news crews, but it gets even worse. What, what the Chinese government has just screwed up monumentally. Okay, uh, please, please, Mr. YouTuber, keep talking for four minutes until you get to the point. Please, please talk for another four minutes until you get to the fucking point. So I was wondering, how is it that I could make this wallet look a little bit more, I don't know, hipster, a little bit more trendy? So I threw down a couple of coffee beans. There we go. This babbling about completely irrelevant. What, what happened? Just tell us. No, no, no. I'm going to talk about blah, 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 blah. 
get to the we'll get fucking point. Just is in the description below. And now back to the video. Literally two minutes. This is what happens when you're sloppy with your propaganda. My friends, I highly doubt. Just for my first day here in Xinjiang, I highly doubt that all this false claims, claims about genocide against the Uyghurs. It's not true, my friends. Listen, it's, it's absolutely not true. What? Who is this? What, what authority does it? Who is this? Here's the proof. The Uyghur people over here are really at peace, man. But when you walk past them with a camera... Is he a big influencer? Like super famous? Like what I do right now. They kind of look at you weird because there's so many damage done by Western media in this beautiful area that these people don't really like it if now i want you to pay attention to these people in the background pay no mind to the compromised influencer he's not of any importance look here hello sir notice Why these faces because anymore. they turn up again and again i suppose look. i need to tell you where this guy is this is the urumqi grand bazaar it's an international tourist attraction it's kind of akin to disneyland see there they come up again I mean, it's just there for tourist tat. You can buy stuff, and they've got a food hall, and they've got all this stuff you can try out. And this is actually the first stop know, on any genocide denial tour. I've spoken about it in the past. Here you see the uh, minders again. These are minders. Okay, here we are. So we're three, into min three minutes into the video, and he still can't get, like, what, what's going they're on? They're following him around, because they're the ones who took him there. They're following him around and making sure that he doesn't go off the beaten path talk to anyone that he's not supposed to talk to or do anything that he's not supposed to do. You see, they tried to portray people like this guy as being sort of independent and walking around and just having a, a natural experience in Xinjiang. However, as you can see, because this guy in particular is very sloppy, you can see the news crews in the background here that are busy filming him and taking photos for the local press. And you can see his minders that are constantly there. You can see the same people turning up and following him you know and watching people? his every move. Now, this international tourist attraction, this Urumqi Grand Bazaar, is divided into a couple of areas. It's actually not that big. He's walking around in circles. But never mind the fact that the government minders keep popping up because they're going everywhere with him. I want you to pay attention to this road that runs in between the two sections. Xinjiang. Of course, this is crazy. It's kind of like me going to Universal Studios. I don't want to make a fucking video.